Hi, it's Lori LeBay with Alzheimer's Speaks, and I'm here with Dementia Quick Tip number 12. Today, I want to talk about the difference between the verbiage we use of self-isolating and physical distancing. I think it's really important that we know the impact of our word choice. Self-isolating makes us feel alone. Look up the definition of isolation in the dictionary. You're alone, you're separate, you're not supported. And that really isn't truly where we're at. We're connecting through video, through phone calls. We are now in gatherings and trying to stay six feet apart. We're wearing masks, but we are together even when we're separated. And nobody can break that. So I would encourage you, instead of using the term self-isolating, to use the term physical distancing. Playing it smart. We know we're going to see more spikes and things are going to change and adjust as needed. But our words are powerful and they play on our mind. And we need to stay connected and we have to believe that we're still connected, even though it may be differently. You can always find more information about Alzheimer's Speaks by going to alzheimerspeaks.com. There you'll find our projects and initiatives, uh, the radio show, the blog, our Twitter platforms, YouTube has a, a bunch of different videos. So please feel free to check them out and share. Have a great week and we'll talk to you soon.